Hey everybody, it's Mr. N here, and what we are going to do today is we're going to do a special construction, and we are going to inscribe an equilateral triangle inside a circle. So basically what I'm doing is I'm going to put an equilateral triangle inside of here with its vertices touching the circle. So the first thing I want to do is I want to take my straight edge and uh, draw a diameter. And I'm going to extend the diameter out um, and label it A and label the intersections A and B. So let's go ahead and do that. And I will draw my diameter through here, through the center, and I've extended it out just a little bit. You don't really need to a whole lot on this construction. All right, next, um, I'm going to label a couple points here. I'm going to label this point A and we'll label the next one point B. And what I want to do is I'm going to take now my compass and I'm going to measure out what this radius is. So let's move this and let's put it on the line here and let's measure out what this radius is. And there's my radius to B. So let's just uh, adjust this just a little bit here and make sure that that's correct. If you're off by a little bit, you'll see that the construction will be off by a little bit as well. Okay, so now I have that. <clears throat> now I want to take this radius that I've found, and I want to place the compass pivot point at B. So I've got the compass pivot point at B. Let me turn this around so you can see it a little bit better. Um, here, let's do that. Let's reflect it. Okay, so I'm going to put this at B right there. There's my pivot point, and there's my radius. So now what I want to do is I want to come out to here, and I'm going to make tick marks where it intersects the circle on that side, and then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And once I've got these two intersection marks, the rest of the construction is super easy. So let's move the compass out of the way, and now what I want to do is just connect all three points. So I will take my straight edge, and I'm going to connect these two points first, so we'll go from here to there. And you know what, I should have probably used a different color here so you could see it. Let's just change that color for the next one. And then I will connect from here. Oops. Here, let's do it one more time, changing that color. I will connect from here to there. And then I'm going to connect using my straight edge from this point to point A and then this point to point A. So that is the equilateral triangle and it's inscribed in my circle. Now, how do I know that this works? Well, take a look. We haven't changed the radius. So what I want to do is I want to put a pivot point here and see what this distance is to A. So if I find what that distance is, now look, if this is right, then it should give me that same distance over here. And it does. Now I can flip this around and I could do it the other way. Put it here and notice I can come up to verify one more thing up here and yep it's that distance to A. So all three segments have the same exact distance. They're congruent so I have constructed the equilateral triangle inside this circle. So hopefully this construction helped. Um, this is not that hard of a construction but make sure you practice it. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button and make sure you're subscribed.